Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on our last video of the unit cost of production. I always like to kind of tell you where we're at, okay? We're doing this thing called theory of the firm. That is a major subsec subsection of microeconomics. So the way that I want you to kind of conceptualize things is, hey, there's microeconomics and that's what you're studying. And inside of microeconomics, a major subsection is called theory of the firm, how firms make decisions. Inside of that subsection, theory of the firm, are a lot of units. Our first unit that we cover is called cost of production. And this is our last video in the cost of production uh, series, okay? It's the first unit because we really want you to understand the cost of production really well as we move into market structures. It's going to make things so much easier. But it took a lot of time, okay? And if you stayed with us to the whole cost of production video, it's awesome. Your foundation is very strong. We got one more video to make your foundation super strong, okay? And here it is. It's ABC, MC, and the supply curve. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw ABC. Now that's a review. We should know how to draw ABC at this point. It's pretty simple, okay? We just pick some dot, doesn't even matter really where, okay? And we just go down and then up. And we just label that ABC, all right? Why does it have that shape? At this point, we're supposed to say, hey, I got it. It's increasing returns to scale. There might be some constant returns. We don't really focus on that a whole lot because we really want to focus on what we call the minimum of ABC and then decreasing or diminishing returns to scale, right? Increasing and decreasing returns to scale. Next, we want to add in the marginal cost curve. Now that we should also understand at this point, okay? If the average is going down, the marginal cost, the additional cost of the next unit must be less than the average. That's the only reason it's being pulled down. Now I'm going to draw a part, a part of it just really quickly, okay? And I'm going to stop intentionally right there because I want you to see something, okay? Before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and try to find my minimum ABC. Even if that doesn't look quite like the minimum ABC, pretend that it is, okay? Because that's what I'm going to go with. So take a look at this curve. It doesn't matter that MC is downward sloping or upward sloping. If it is below the average, it's pulling the average down. That's what's important, okay? Hence, if the average is coming up, the MC, those additional costs, must be greater than the average. That's what's pulling the average up, okay? So let's go right through there. I'm not sure if I hit it perfectly, but you just kind of make the dot big is what I always say. And there's your MC curve. We should know that, right? That's a review of the last video. So we've got it. We've got a uh, MC, we've got ABC, now we've got the supply curve. Now this, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself with what I'm about to do, but I think that you can do this with me, okay? And it's one of those videos, see how, how well this, or how much this makes sense, and maybe just later on come back and watch this again, because it's an important one, okay? To, to show what I want to, I'm going to pick up my ruler here, and I'm going to talk about some different prices we can have. Okay, remember, I'm getting now to the supply curve, and we should know what the supply curve is. It tells us all the different quantity supplied that we would get at, a, at various price points. Okay, so it's a relationship between quantity supplied and price. So I'm going to draw a price kind of low right here. Okay, so I'm just going to dash a line. Okay, why am I dashing it? That's not a function, it's not the supply curve, not MC, not ABC, it's just a price point, okay? And when I do a price point, I like to just dash the line, not draw a solid line. Now, if that was the price point, would we supply anything? Now notice, we're absolutely intersecting the MC curve. So you might be like, yeah, hey, MC is supply. I don't know how much we'd supply, we might supply that much, we might supply that much, but we would supply some amount. And the answer is, no, actually you wouldn't. Now, why is that the case? Well, you've got to know that price is per unit revenue to the firm, right? Per unit revenue to the firm. Well, if the per unit revenue is below the average variable cost, the firm is not going to supply anything, okay? Why is that, okay? Well, let's just take, I, I could pick either one of these dots. I'm going to pick this dot. I'm going to call that the quantity. What I'm about to say would work even if I picked that as the quantity, okay? It doesn't matter, okay, for the point I'm trying to make. So here it is, per unit revenue, vertical distance, per unit revenue because of price, times the quantity, that horizontal distance right there, right? Well, so this box right there is total revenue. Well, at that quantity, the average variable cost is greater. So take a look at this. Draw this back over, ABC. ABC, a vertical distance, times quantity is total variable cost. And you just got to spend just a moment thinking about, hey, should I produce if my total revenue is greater than my total variable cost? 
Uh, sorry, I said that wrong. Should I produce if my total revenue is less than my total variable cost? That's the question we've got here, right? The total variable cost, that box right there, is greater than the total revenue. Should I produce? The answer is heck no. No, don't produce if that's the case. Remember, if you shut down, yes, your total revenues go to zero, but your variable costs go to zero also if you shut down. And it's way better if that's the case than having total variable costs greater than your total revenues. If that's the situation, you're just digging a deeper hole. You're not just incurring your fixed costs, you're, in, you're also incurring some additional costs, the amount by which total variable costs exceeded the total revenue. So what I'm saying is guys, if the price is here below that AVC curve, you're not producing. So I may have been saying for a long time now, supply is the marginal cost curve, and I will continue to say so, but I want you to now understand that there is a caveat to that statement that supply is the marginal cost curve, or another way to say it is supply is based on the marginal cost curve. Supply, here's the caveat, supply is the marginal cost curve that lies above minimum AVC. Okay, there it is. Supply is the marginal cost curve that lies above minimum AVC. Let's go see this, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of that part of the MC. Why did I get rid of all that part of the MC? Because that's the part of the MC that was below the AVC, right? And I'm just gonna get rid of kind of what we drew already because we don't really need that. Actually, I'll leave the price, okay? Remember, nothing is being supplied because that is the supply line. That's right, just the MC above the AVC. So let's take a look at this. Let's draw in another price point, okay? Just pick one right there. So, whoops, at that price point, I'm gonna grab that dot. That's gonna be an important dot. And I'm going to go down here to this quantity. Now, let me explain what I just did, okay? So, price, once again, per unit revenue. Well, you'll produce a good as long as the per unit revenue is above the marginal cost. And if you look right here, the per unit revenue is above the marginal cost. And for that next good, so let's, I mean, that was that minimum, okay? As I produce these additional goods, okay? As I produce these additional goods, boom, 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 I'm acting like there's quite a few between this point and this point, and there could actually be hundreds or even thousands in the real world, right? You've got per unit revenue, notice the price line, that's the per unit revenue above the marginal cost, okay? So absolutely supply those. However, as soon as you get past this dot, or I should say that quantity, you're not gonna produce any of these goods. Why are you not gonna produce any of those? Because the marginal cost, the per unit cost, is above the per unit revenue and never do that, right? Never supply something if the per unit cost of supplying it is above the per unit revenue. So we're gonna supply right up to that dot. And let's make you know, the final thing to kind of finish this off. We need to ask ourselves, well, what's variable cost at this, at, at this amount, right? So I grab that dot, because look, at this quantity, this vertical distance is the AVC. So I'm gonna bring that over I'm going to get rid of that old one and put AVC. Guys, if you're still with me, fantastic. So you might already have like grabbed everything that we want you to get, right? You can kind of see it hopefully now. Vertical distance, price per unit uh, revenue, right? Times the quantity, total revenue. So this box right there is total revenue. Now let's look at total variable cost, right? Vertical distance, okay? How did I get that? Because that dot is on that AVC line, right? AVC times the quantity, total variable cost. If the total revenue is above the total variable cost, produce, produce at least in the short run, okay? At least in the short run, you should produce the good, okay? Why? Well, maybe you're incurring losses because the amount that, this is a lot to take in, the amount total revenue exceeded total variable cost maybe that amount was not greater than fixed costs and you might be incurring losses. But if you produce in the short run, because fixed costs you're gonna incur them no matter what, right? If you produce in the short run, you'll at least be reducing your losses, okay? That total fixed cost won't be as much if you produce in the short run. So there it is, guys. Let me show you now, let me kind of finish this off. I like to do that little bracket right at that point right there and then I just write supply right there on the MC 
What were we supposed to get out of this video? Here is the takeaway. I know the relationship between MC and ABC, and I also know that the portion of the MC that lies above minimum ABC is the supply curve, and any portion of the MC curve that is below ABC is not the supply curve, because if the price is ever below minimum ABC, if the price is ever below minimum ABC, shut it down. Shut that plant down, okay? Yes, you're going to incur the fixed cost, but that's all you're going to incur. If that price gets above minimum ABC, at least operate in the short run. Who knows, maybe operate in the long run if you're actually making profits. Hopefully that video made sense to you guys. It's an important one. It's one you might want to come back to later. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.